Hello everyone, this is Legion of God here. This is a contest entry in Contender's 400 subscriber contest. Uh, congratulations, Contender Man. Um, you're already nearing 500, so... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, that usually happens all during these major contests. And uh, basically the rules were pretty simple. 18 and over, and subscribe, which I am to both of those. And also to spell out your name using comic books titles. Um, this was pretty challenging. My name is Daniel, except since I only really buy Batman. I don't have a lot of books with the letters D, I, or E in them, or even L. I found some eventually. Um, but yeah. So for D, we got Spider-Man issue 6. Uh, this is a McFarlane cover. Um, it's just nice looking art. I picked this up in London when I was on holiday at a charity store for like one dollar. And I uh, thought it was a really cool cover. And yeah, part one and two, he fights the Hobgoblin in this. Uh, just nice dynamic art. Uh, a, this is all the first. Uh, a, we have Spawn, issue 9. This is the first appearance of what would later be known as Valkyrie, the character. Uh, this is also a McFarlane cover. I won this in the contest a couple of years ago. Um, just a really nice cover. Uh, especially the conditions was really nice. The whites are still like really pristine. And yeah, the colors just. The colors just really pop on this book. Um, not really a Spawn fan myself, but you know, I can still appreciate this nice looking cover. And we got Batman issue 1 from the 2011 run, the New 52. Uh, I absolutely adore this book. Um, this is my favorite, like, single cover of all time. Uh, when I was getting back into comic books, that was when the New 52, like, just started. Yeah, uh, like, in, within, in the first year, and I saw this cover, and I desperately really wanted it but like the, all the issue ones were like the first week of New 52 especially like they were all just sold out instantly because it was such a such a crazy event at the time it turns out this was also it also just it was also nice to turn out that the Batman New 52 stuff was really good quality as well which cannot be said for some of the uh, other New 52 books uh, for I this was pretty challenging because I Spider-Man was the only like book with the letter I in it I could find but I found Street Fighter Legends Kami. Uh, this was originally going to be the L, but I found another book with L in it, so this became the I, which helped a lot. Uh, this is issue 3, the B cover, the connecting cover. You can see that there's a little bit of like a spear tip in the top here. Um, and you can see someone's like knees, like their, their leg. Uh, so this has four of uh, the bison dolls. And um, yeah, just really nice cover. A uh, good thing about the good thing about um, these Street Fighter comic books, especially the ones with Udon, is that since they're all done in-house art, so it's super consistent because it's basically only two people doing all the art, two to three people, and they have like the same guy in like, the entire series, so the art's very, very consistent, which is something I really like. Uh, e, we've got uh, X-Men issue 30. Um, this, I really like this cover. It's Andy Cubitt. Uh, this is one of the most... Uh, iconic, I guess, one of the more important events, not even important, it's not really important, but one of the cooler events in the X-Men universe, um, the wedding of Cyclops and Phoenix, and this is a wraparound cover, so you've got all the people and the Xavier Mansion in the background, you've got, like, uh, Angel when he was still blue, uh, Bishop, because Bishop's already in this universe, uh, Cable, uh, Warpath, Domino, Rogue, Beast, a bunch of different characters, uh, and you got Storm in the front, and I think that's Iceman, or Havoc, uh, I don't know, I just really enjoy superhero weddings and funerals, I think those are really cool events, uh, which is why, like, I'm still holding out on Batman right now, because there's still a wedding issue coming out, and, um, that's gonna be a pretty cool issue, uh, I might just drop the book off of that, because it's still god-awful trying to read the trying to read Tom King's Batman, but, and maybe I'll just switch to Justice League when Snyder takes over. But aside from that, uh, this book is a really nice cover, um, just an iconic piece of art as well. For the L, I found this random book that I forgot I even owned, and uh, yeah, I picked this one up at one of those, one of the smaller comic book stores I could find in the suburbs. This is X-Men Legacy issue 2, 2, 3. Uh, this is the B cover. Uh, this is celebrating 
70 years of Marvel Comics, and uh, of course you got Marvel Girl here, uh, or Phoenix or Marvel Girl, as she was known back then in one of her earlier costumes. I really like this costume for Marvel Girl. I really don't like the newer Phoenix costumes, especially with the current ones. Like, I, I just can't get into... Like, I really, oh, I really like the 90s one where she had a really weird head wrap piece and she had like shoulder like shoulder armor shoulder pads but I really can't get into like the current the young phoenix costume well, well maybe that's just because I really absolutely hate the young phoenix character I just really well, I just can't get into the x-men now because it's just awful which is a shame because x Men's like my favorite marvel property marvel characters I guess I always felt they were really really cool and um yeah, Marvel kind of gutted them. But yeah, uh, this is the L, X-Men Legacy. Uh, just a nice cover, another white background cover. This one's a little bit more dirty than the Spawn one, because I found this in some like, back issue bin somewhere. Uh, but nice cover, really painterly feel to it. Uh, nice reflections and shading on the yellow. Uh, gives it almost a metallic quality on the gloves, which is kind of weird, because I think they're just normal gloves, but it looks really nice. Uh, and there's a plane going by. But yeah, really nice cover. So that was it. Um, that was the name spell. So yeah, uh, thank you, Contender, for doing this contest. Um, the prizes look really sick. Uh, and really cool of you to do international shipping, which is an important thing because uh, I always feel bad every time they do international shipping. I felt really bad the one time I won because the shipping was like $30 from Hawaii and um, wherever Alex was living in. Uh, like Chicago or like whatever staff I completely forgot but I remember Doom was in Doom's in Hawaii I think so the shipping was crazy um you know from one island to another but yeah living in Australia the shipping was really crazy so it was really cool to do international shipping for this contest um so yeah uh that's this is my entry and yeah bye